Many facilities use steam tracing to protect their processes and equipment from freezing. A properly controlled steam tracing system is critical to effectively utilizing the heating media and minimizing overall expenses throughout the freeze season. Winterization procedures typically require steam to be turned on whenever the temperatures could drop below freezing. However, since temperatures can fluctuate throughout the season, many plants manually turn on the steam in the beginning of the winter season and leave it on until spring. While this eliminates the chance of freeze damage from forgetting to activate the steam on any particular day, it wastes a lot of steam on the days that temperatures are above freezing. A better solution is to install thermostatic valves to automatically control steam flow. Self-actuating thermostatic steam control valves automatically regulate steam flow in response to ambient or pipe surface temperature changes. When the air or piping surface temperature reaches the valve set point, typically 35 degrees Fahrenheit, the valve opens, turning on the steam supply. The valve will close again once the temperature rises above the valve set point, conserving the media and saving thousands of dollars in wasted operating costs. Let's take a look at the math and see the real difference between a manually and thermostatically controlled steam tracing system. In our example, a winterized steam tracing system in a plant located outside of Philadelphia consumes about 500 pounds of steam per hour. Normally, the system is manually turned on when freezing temperatures approach about mid-September and is turned off in late spring, around mid-April. In this on-off operation, total operating hours are an estimated 5,088 per freeze season. If the plant's steam cost is $8 per thousand pounds of steam, operating costs can be calculated as 500 pounds per hour times 5,088 hours times $8 per thousand pounds for a total of $20,352 per winter season. When using thermostatic valves, steam tracing is turned off automatically whenever the ambient temperature rises above 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Based on historical data for Philadelphia from the U.S. Weather Bureau, steam would be on for only 2,895 hours each winter, whenever temperatures dip below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Using the plant's steam cost of $8 per 1,000 pounds of steam, operating costs are calculated as 500 pounds per hour times 2,895 hours times $8 per 1,000 pounds, for a total of $11,580 per winter season. By switching from a manually controlled system to a thermostatically controlled system, our example of Philadelphia facility would save about $8,772 per year, which is objectively a significant amount of money. This example calculation can be extrapolated to cities throughout the country, all of which can expect to save a significant amount by switching to thermostatically controlled steam tracing. The exact same system in Memphis, Tennessee would save 58% on steam. In New York, 34%, Cleveland, Ohio, 39%, and in Houston, Texas, more than 90%. By switching to thermostatic steam control, the facility saves money and steam while ensuring effective freeze protection all winter long. To learn more about thermostatic steam control valves and how switching can save your facility thousands, visit our website or contact our team of product experts.